Well, good afternoon. This is probably going to be a short video because I'm only doing one car. Um, but it's a, it's a real sweet piece. Uh, one of my favorite new brands, Kyosho. And it is a Mazda Roadster 2015. So it's a Miata. Uh, Kyosho I've seen come in different packages. Um, I've ordered some loose, but this is the first time I'm seeing this box. So there is the back of it, Mazda Roadster RS 2015 Blue. Uh, it's a 2015 car. There doesn't seem to be a copyright year. Uh, there's a Kyosho copyright and website, uh, and just the usual, this is, you know, not for children, small parts. There's no name on this, um, no year, excuse me, on this, uh, but... This I, this I got off eBay, and it was a reasonable price. It was not crazy expensive. Um, you know, with shipping, I believe it was under $20. So, this is, I mean, I've seen NO64 and Para, you know, others come in these cardboard sleeves. I'm used to seeing Kyosho's come in uh, a softer plastic top, but attached to the base. Now, there we go. So, let's see if there's any information. Also, some Kyosho's come with the um, little cardboard card that says, you know, limited edition or some information about the series. This one does not. Let's get this off the base. So as I always say, I'm primarily a Ford guy. Uh, I love European cars. I always joke that I'm not as into JDM. I'm not into JDM meaning, uh, you know, Skylines and all the little um, initial D type cars and not big into Fast and Furious. I've seen the movies. But uh, that doesn't mean I don't like Japanese cars. Um, I've only ever owned a few. One of them was a Mazda. I had a Mazda 3. But my brother has had several Mazdas, including a Miata, a couple of RX-7s, and Mazda Speed 3, Mazda Speed 6, and so forth. Um, he had uh, the 99 or 2000. Uh, he's commented before the British Racing Green. A friend of mine did actually have a dark blue version of this, the 2015. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, no, his is, yeah, I think it was a 2015. And I've driven this, and as with any Mazda, it was phenomenal. Not overpowered, but just phenomenal. So let, speaking of phenomenal, as Kyosho, I always say, so now I can't tell, I think that those are inserted headlights, and there is your Mazda logo. No license plate. Uh, very nice wheels. Let's see, does it roll? Yeah, it rolls. Uh, plastic base, metal body. Let's see. 164 Mazda Roadster, Kyosho made in China. No year. Uh, screwed base. I mean, it's a tiny car, so, you know. But inserted taillights, there's the logo, there's where it says, can't tell what it says, um, I think that says Mazda, and that says Roadster. So, I know most of the, oh, okay, so it's got nice mirrors with little reflective, it's got the third brake light here. Let's take a look at the interior. So it is right-hand drive. And looks pretty well detailed. I mean, these Kyosho models usually pretty are, are pretty good. So that's nice. Love this blue. Um, I'm sure I could go back and look. I, I think this is probably called mica blue. If it's a factory color, I believe it is. 
Um, maybe when I see that on a bigger screen, I'll be able to read what those tampos are. But that's pretty neat. I don't have any of uh, the other... Uh, key, well, actually, silly me, I have the Mercedes right here. Here's something interesting. So, everybody thinks of big marks, but of course, this Mercedes is not very big. But it is just a little bigger than the Miata. Um, this is a very nice piece. And I have another Miata that I can open up here, which is this uh, Matchbox main line here. Oh, did I open this up? I guess I did. Yeah, I did open this up. I did open this up on video when I took it out and I put it back in. So <laughs> the Matchbox, I would assume, is oversized for scale. Um, definitely oversized for scale. I would always assume that the Kyosho is uh, more accurate. But I'm not going to beat up on Matchbox for this because they did a nice job with the Tampos. Um, arguably as good as Kyosho. Now, um, because it's a little larger, they're a little more legible. Um, both have the little roll bar hoops behind the bucket seats. Um, give the Matchbox a little credit. It also has molded in mirrors. So uh, I asked my brother which car he wanted to see today. This is one of the ones I did in the holiday haul video or the Christmas haul video. And I asked viewers to vote on what they wanted to see. And eventually all of those cars will be opened. Uh, I just got really excited about the Mercedes, which was not in um, that haul. So as I as I said, this is going to be a short video, but um, let me know what you think. Um, and if anybody's on the fence about Kyosho, I've shown a few recently. Um, they may not be TLV, Tomica Limited Vintage, but they are very good. And actually, the only TLV I have, I will quickly open... Again, to check for scale, I should have prepped for this. Now, of course, a Miata would be smaller in size than this RX-7. This would be the 95 RX-7. And you can all correct me on that. Because, I, you know, I don't... I am not an expert with... Mazda. Uh, I like Mazda uh, a lot. It's one of the few farm brands that I've owned and will consider owning again. But let's pull out this TLV. We'll quickly and of course you know the, the uh, RX-7 should be a bigger car. Both very nice details. Let's just check. Yeah. So Matchbox's Miata is bigger than the RX-7. It is uh, a little big for scale. Uh, and sometimes they will actually put the honest scale on these. I do not see it here. But as I've said, I don't, I don't have a lot of Mazdas. Uh, I only go for the ones I really like. I may have an RX, another RX-7. No, I don't. I gave that one away. So, real quick, cool, uh, real quick video on uh, a cool casting. This Kyosho, uh, 
Mazda MX-5 Miata Roadster. Um, so uh, have a great weekend. I'll probably make another video tomorrow. Um, and now it's time for me to catch up on some of your videos. Uh, I know that Sal has a video out today. Uh, I want to watch that. I um, always want to watch Sal's videos. Uh, I missed Chasing Diecast Cars, his live video, so I have to wait for that one to be available, I guess, either later this evening or tomorrow. Uh, uh, with the time difference in, in, uh, between Belgium and New York, uh, I rarely make his live videos, um, much to my disappointment. But um, if you do get the opportunity... They're always fantastic, especially uh, everybody shows up in the live chat. So, uh, thank you. Let me know what you think of Kyosho. Uh, like, share, subscribe. If you're, uh, I have eight new subscribers that came over. Uh, unfortunately, I can't remember everybody's names. Uh, Midwest Ohio is one of them. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not going to try and do a roll call. I'll have to do that in a different video. Uh, but thank you for coming over from Twice Diecast uh, and giving him a shout out in the comments. Uh, David Johns of Twice Diecast is amazing. Uh, Joran from Chasing Diecast Cars. Uh, you know, head on over and watch Diecast Dude. Saul's Diecast Dynasty. Um, Fex Death. There, there are so many great channels. Um... And if you're here, you found me from one of there, so I don't know why I'm... Uh, Tyrone from New Zealand... Uh, no, from Australia, with uh, Building the Ultimate Matchbox Collection. Um, and a fellow tri-state area, uh, I believe New York, New Jersey, uh, Matchbox, Matchbox Man HW24. Uh, so, uh, have a great day. Uh, I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Goodbye.